Hey guys, Technical here. Typically, I don't really do behind the scenes things, but I figured I might as well eventually have to show off um, how I do my work to you guys and whatnot, and other things that go in the background of recording. This is touching my head. Behold the recording corner where I have um, two lights essentially raining light down, cascading upon this lovely garbage table that I've had for many years. Yep, right now I'm currently in the process of recording um, a what is it, the Moza uh, gimbal, which I should have charging right over next to my stuff. I'll talk about my setup in a bit and some issues I've been having. But, you know, other than that, this is the the camera of the day. This is the Zcam E2 M4, one of my favorite things. I am using a video mic, my, video micro for by road. Not the best thing in the world, but it'll do. Recording onto an SSD over here. I have mounted on the side. Not the most ideal setup you'll ever see in the world, but uh, gets the job done. Now normally, as you can see here, the you know the box is open and I got everything set out because I, I like to like just do that thing where I take a video and just go boom. And usually when I throw things down, there's a, the, the box is empty, but sometimes there's stuff in the box if I think it's going to survive the hit from the table for the intro, but hey, nothing's broken yet. Speaking of which, personally, I've been having trouble with my mouse, but first, the setup of wonder. Uh, hmm, I forgot what model these monitors are. Oh, okay. So the monitors I'm using are the, um, well, I have two monitors going, and, uh, the side one is my first monitor, which is the, uh, Acer XF27HU, and it's a, it's a pretty good 144 hertz gaming monitor, but it was not very color accurate, which ended up with me uh, getting this guy, which is the um, Dell, I'm not gonna look, I'm looking off camera, you can't tell, but it's the Dell S3220DDF. Got it! It's a 32 inch curve monitor that's relatively color accurate and pretty much good enough. It wasn't too expensive if I applied like um, some early Black Friday prices I got onto it. But uh, yeah, that's the two monitor setup I'm running and I'm pretty satisfied with it, except for that guy right there. Color shifting's pretty nuts, so uh, it gets pretty useless depending on what angle I'm at. It just doesn't do it very good vertically, but they let you have the option. Now, as for my main setup up here, everything's a freaking mess. Uh, mind that, that's the, that's the gimbal we're gonna review in a bit. Here is the computer. It is a Loke Ghost S1. Quite a lovely machine, were it not for the fact that I'm using, um, well, a 240mm radiator with a quad fan setup. So there's a fan on top and bottom, which is why I don't, um, I, I can't close it. Sometimes I like to do this thing where I put a skillet on it with a little egg boy on it, but then it blocks the airflow and, uh, but it's cute though, right? Anyway, my PC is running on a Ryzen 5 3600 CPU with uh, 32 gigs of RAM on a Asus Strix X570 uh, i motherboard. Today, as for my keyboard, this is the Space Space uh, Space 65 Cyber Voyager with um, Hive keycaps by Infinikey, and this is basically my favoriteest thing in the world right now. Now, as for uh, the mouse, we're gonna let's get into that troubles. Is my coffee done yet? Nope, not yet, not yet. I guess we'll just cover that in the meantime and uh, wait for that to finish. Now, for those of you who don't know about it, my favorite mouse in the world is the Naga Pro by Razer, because um, I was always into the Naga line, and I've babied this mouse, not gonna lie. I even bought like Razer Care for it to essentially take care of it. And you know, it's supposed to be more durable because it uses like their optical switches or whatever. And mine is having trouble. Behold people, here is the problem. Uh, let's run a little forward. And anyway, now that we're in the field, as you can see here, the problem isn't imminent in the game. This is uh, an issue I noticed when I was also video editing. So for example, if I just right click, Sometimes it sputters a bit. I'm just holding it and it's not sure whether it's down or not. Same thing with firing. I'm just holding down the click button. Sometimes it'll fire again. I'll never know. But it makes an interesting gaming experience as, oh, there it goes. Yep. Come on, buddy. Yeah, it makes uh, gaming a bit frustrating for sure and like, um, I mean, granted, it's not much different from my real aim in actual games, but you know, that's not the point. Point is, that's uh, this this thing, this problem, not supposed to happen. But uh, I'm getting it RMA'd and hopefully uh, they'll send me a new one and get this thing fixed up because uh, as far as I'm concerned, oh, I hit them. As far as I, I don't know. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, I am the only one 
with this problem. I've been looking around like reddits and whatnot and so far I haven't seen a single person with this issue. If you have this problem at all, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of curious because this definitely seems to be a much more one-off problem. But this also tells me that just because the Switch is more durable, it doesn't mean it's invincible. Any Switch can fail essentially and uh, it looks like mine failed early. Yeah, it doesn't have a double clicking problem like they said it wouldn't, but now it has like a hyper clicking problem. My coffee done? Oh yeah. That Vietnamese coffee at only, uh, what time is it? 5.35 p.m. No problem. On an ending note, I'm just doing this vlog thing. I'm not sure how much you guys like to watch these kind of things, but I'm just trying something new out and, oh, um, I'm making a meme in the background as you can tell. Anyway, this has been technical and I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Tell me if you like this kind of format to see what I'm doing sometimes or not. I don't know. It's completely up to you guys, but I might just do it anyway or just stop because I don't feel like it. I don't know how it's gonna go. Okay, this video's getting too long. I'll see you guys later.